What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. I was uh, messing with the uh, printer today just to uninstall it and reinstall it back. And I started getting some weird error. And I seen one time, one of my customers one time had the error and I couldn't help him. I was like, what is this? What's going on here? Um, uh, let's run this error again so I can show you what I'm talking about. And you would think like, let's go to um, brother, get some help. Good luck with that. <laughs> All right, so let's go right here. I mean, I love this printer, man, but the installation process is like there's genius and stupidity at the same time combined together. So first of all, always uh, obviously download the, the, the driver. This driver, actually it's not a driver. This is like a, an API. So for VIP shop management to connect uh, to the printer itself. So this is just always, always install this first. Usually there's no problem in installing this one at all. Usually there's no problem in installing the other one too. It just all what I did is un uh, uninstalled e every item and I'll show you what happened and I'll show you the fix what you do from here. So, so I got to this, you know, usually auto select at this point, make sure you turn it on, make sure you use the USB. Don't do not attempt to do the wireless. <laughs> I keep telling people it's wireless. How about call brother and have him hook it up for you. <laughs> so anyway, let me show you the error auto select and everything's cool. It did auto select. Okay. Downloading. Yes. Usually I don't like the manual, but I keep everything else, especially don't mess with the printer setting tool because that will give you the option to, you know, it kind of shuts off automatically. That will give you the option to keep it on all the time. So don't ever uncheck it. Only uncheck the manual or keep it. Maybe you need the manual. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, let's click OK and agree. And it's downloading. Everything looks awesome It'll, until this crazy red. Um, there we go. One. There we go what and then you'll be like okay what <laughs> okay i swear to god like it took me 15 minutes uh, trying to see what the hell is going on and i couldn't figure out i uninstalled everything um i cleared everything i couldn't get it to work and then sorry that's the best they can do for you <laughs> but anyway i do have a solution for you what do you do from here it's really simple uh, go to your folder option right here uh, go to the C um, and then users and then find your user right here and then after you get to your like user and whoever using the computer just click type in the backslash and then app data and then go to roaming right here see after I run uh, the installer that you've seen like I said it works as a charm especially if you're first time installing if you run into an issue just go to the brother right here and then common installer right here. And you're gonna have the same thing, only you can do it manually and you don't have the crazy error that you have. So let's start with the first one right here. I, there is, I cannot see which one, so I just went with the first one and then install. Thanks a lot, uh, brother, with your uh, installer. <sighs> what can I say? I should be working for brother. It's the problem sometimes, man. You gotta hire the one that makes things easy. Anyway, go to the second one. Don't skip, like, just let's just install all of them here. I agree. Make sure you still QL. By the way, and may, for the love of God, don't go here. <laughs> click on the USB. Every time I wanna go there and it's like a disaster. Number three. I agree, install. It's the same thing, but we're just doing it manual. I like the manual, at least I'm in control. I don't want to see no red error, man. But like I said, only do this if you're having the problem that I showed you. Otherwise, usually it works like a charm, don't get me wrong. I don't know what happened. I feel like the installer somehow get blocked and it doesn't have access to run these. So, but I didn't do anything. All I did is uninstall it. P touch update and the last one, the one with the settings. Maybe I can run this one and show you what I'm talking about. Printer tool settings. All right, so right now it should work. Let's go back to VIP shop management. Finish this craziness. 
open VIP shop management. Let's make sure VIP is working. Print, print. We're good to go. So yes, that's how you fix it if you ran into an issue that I showed you. But let me show you how to turn on the, to stop the auto power because that's annoying as hell. Uh, what is it called? Uh, tool settings. Brother tool. Okay, printer setting tool. Printer <laughs> setting tool. <laughs> click on that right here and then click on device settings. Device settings. And right there, auto power on. Make sure it's always on. Right there. Um, auto power, auto power off. No, I think this, that's it, right? Um, just to make sure. 60 minute none. Yes, keep it none and I think you should be good because this one can run on battery too, so. And that's it. Apply and exit and should be all set. Anyway, I hope that helped. I know I saw that error for one of my customers and I told them maybe there's something wrong with the printer. It's not the printer. Uh, somehow the installer. I don't want to say get corrupted, but uh, have no access to its file. I don't know what blocked it, but you would think there's an answer from brother. There is none. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.